I'm going to read a poem here by Margaret of Navarre, is how I'm going to say that, because I'm Italiano. It's entitled, Wind Will Blow It All Away. If someone insults you, go on with light heart. If they all do it, pay no heed to what they say. There is no new art in talk of that kind. Wind will blow it all away. If someone praises devotion, implying, of course, it's okay, but says, of course, the works of the law are much greater, it's weird dogma, pass by, don't bother. Wind will blow it away. And if they next to make you less open to God, say to flatter you that you are truly great, turn your back to talk of that sort. Wind will blow it all away. And if the world itself should come, money, castles, great sweets in its hands, just say, I've had enough today. For worldly things return whence they came. Wind will blow it all away. And if people name a place, not God's, where all sorrow will be settled, all be saved, they have an evil aim. Be strong, say no to these odd people. Wind will blow it all away. So, hmm. So reading this has me um, reflect on This experience I had of my dad being killed on 9-11 and the broken open that happened to me and the larger perspective that occurred, that in a way had me, um, it's an interesting phenomena, recognize the impermanence of it all. To see the, uh, in an interesting way, it brought me to a place of being able to accept what happened. And, and in the meeting of other people that I've, uh, from around the world who've had similar experiences of being, having a, a loss, a, a tragedy of some kind that, again, I would say caused the breaking open, uh, uh, an experience that was transcendent, that they went beyond their reality, if you will, and connected with a spiritual place. Um, I, I sensed the similar thing occurring where it took them to a place of recognizing, um, of setting almost course on a different path, of almost in that place of seeing the impermanence of life of the fragility of life, of seeing how fragile we can be, that one moment your loved one can be there and the next moment can be blown away. It will be blown away. All will be blown away. Almost in a way can bring an appreciation to life, to want to, want to in this moment, appreciate the little things, to appreciate the moment. And in a way for me, had me almost reclaim my power. Almost in that appreciation comes like a choosing to appreciate. Um, and in a way, for me, it, it took me out of victim. Where victim is giving away my power, like this happened to me. Where it, for me, flipped to like this happened, how do I want to be? What do I choose? Wow, almost like 
it was almost for me like a responsibility, like in taking responsibility for um, how I was going to be from the, the loss of my dad. It was an empowerment. It took me out of, again, victim into able to respond. And I say the two can't exist at the same time because it's almost the catch-22 of responsibility. It's like, oh, I have to take ownership of that life is not happening to me. I'm, I have some say in how this is going to go. That then is empowering because I have some say in how this is going to go, including how do I choose to respond to things that might occur as happening to me and not just feel like I'm getting tossed around by life. But like, here is this that happened. How am I going to be with it?